guys, how's it going? Hello guys, how's it going? I am Sarah and today I want to share with you my wonderful trip into the zoo at the zoo with my friends. Wow, what's that? I will tell you later, but first you need to say about what we're going to learn today. Okay, I forgot that. Today we're going to learn about wild animals. I bet these are the wild animals that are in the zoo, right? Yes, how can you guess that? Because the zoo has many wild animals. So let's begin, okay? First, what can you tell us about our trip? I could tell you there are many interesting animals, but I love these wild animals the best. First, I can see the king of the jungle. Hmm, who's that? Yes, you're right, it's the lion. The lion is the king of the jungle. Lions are very big and they have a big mane around their necks, right? And they chase our wild animals. And they can run very fast, right? They have sharp claws. Very sharp claws. And they are from the cat's family. Next, we have a tiger. Wow, look at this tiger. It looks so nice. Yes, first I feel so, so, so scared. But then my teacher says that it will be very, very, very friendly. And I asked him, I said, hello, how are you? And he said, Ah, look at this drawing, but I think that it is very softly, so I play with it. Wow, it's nice. The tiger has many black stripes. It is from the cat's family too. Next, we have a panda. Do you know that we've been talking about a cousin of the panda called the panda? It doesn't have the end, right? So I see both of them. They're called Panda and Panda. First, I don't know what's that because I didn't learn with you, but I watched your video and I know the difference between Panda and Panda now. Yes. Next, we have a snake. These snakes are very scary. Some are poisonous, so they can kill me if it bites me. Yes, but be careful. If you don't go to the forest by yourself, or you don't pick the snakes angry, it will bite you. So, some people catch snakes to eat. Is that dangerous? Of course, it's very dangerous. And I think it is very, very bad for the nature too. Because people catch the snakes to eat, they may have poison in and they may be killed. They might be died. Next, we have a giraffe. You can see the giraffe in a very tall place. You need to look up, 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 up in the sky to see the giraffe heads because it's very tall. Its neck is not short at us. Not sure at you too, Sarah. It's very long. As long as me? As long as my head? <laughs> I don't think so, but I bet it can be. What about a bear? Oh, my friend Ben loves the bear the best. Why? Because he can feed the bear with some fish. First, he's scared. But next, he builds love with the bear. Yes, bears are friendly, but sometimes they are angry. So remember, watch out for the bear, or it might, or you might be a sinner. <laughs> and next, we have an elephant. Elephant is very, very big, and they have a very big trunk that they can carry so many water inside it and they can water themselves take a shower by themselves with their trunk. And 
they have very very big ears. No way, otters have small ears. And the last animal you can see in the zoo. Now, this time, I will let you talk about that. Okay, this animal is a monkey. The monkey is very funny. I gave her some bananas and she does many, many funny activities like climb trees and jump up and down. Also cute and so funny too. Yes, so now do you want to talk more about wild animals and write them in your diary? Mm, okay, so I will write like this. Hmm, today I went to the zoo and I see many wild animals. Is that right? Okay, say about your diary. See that? Okay, so I see many animals and I love the giraffe and the monkey and of course the panda the best because what you know? Because they're very friendly. The panda eats the bamboo and the leaves. I don't think it's pretty. I think it is hungry. It eats many times in a day, so I need to feed it very much food. The giraffe is very tall, so it eats very, very, very big trees. It, it eats the leaves. The leaves are yummy, I think so, for the giraffe, but not me. And the monkey loves banana. When I fit the monkey, it jumps up and down to do many funny activities. Climbs up to the trees and then climb down the trees. Oh, I love the monkey. What about you? Did you ever go to the zoo? If you did, then tell me who was your favorite animal at the zoo. And please comment in the chat box. Yes, that's a nice diary. So, it's time to say bye. Bye, see you next time.